And we are back with the Black Sea Empire, guys. Trying to make an empire all the way around the Black Sea, taking all of the coastal settlements. And today, we're going to see if we can expand nice and quickly up north, taking out some of these minor nations up here before they expand too far inland, which is what we don't want, of course. Now, guys, today, hopefully it's going to be an action-packed one. So let's get us to 60 likes. That would be fantastic for this part. It really does help the channel out. On this first turn, guys, I don't think there's that much we need to do. Just having a look around. But we have our armies in the north and our army at Kabylie. Our very damaged army, mind you, after last time's escapades. But I do appreciate one thing. And that is the fact that the Asti have all these forts down here. Like, I don't know <laughs> why. I hardly ever see the uh, AI place forts, but I actually really like it because they're on the border with the Adrissians, not on the border with us. So, uh, yeah, that is the best thing. <laughs> but anyway, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where we get to. Well, on this turn, guys, we actually have the ability to take out two factions in one go. Not often you get that opportunity. So let's take it. We're going to go for Kabile first because they were so brutal to us last episode. And honestly, I don't think this is going to be that easy, especially with the uh, Romfio Foroi. Just going to have to try and use a few of the missile men, although they didn't do too well last time, did they? So uh, <laughs> let's go, guys. So we've taken down the gate, guys, but we have sent our ram to take down the wall. Remember, if you do use a ram in-game, you don't always have to just make one hole in it. In fact, it's probably worth not doing that because then bad things happen, like uh, you getting stuck on the gates. So we don't want that to happen, do we, guys? So we are going uh, to, of course, use both holes in the walls to do as much damage as possible to the enemy and stop us just getting blobbed down in the gates here uh, and getting killed by these many Thracian Peltas and the uh, Romfire Foroi as well. So uh, let's get on with it. It shouldn't be too difficult. What I'm thinking of doing is sending one guy one way and the other the other way. They are only slingers. And I know we're playing on very hard, but surely we can beat slingers, guys. Surely. <laughs> Come on, Hoplites. They've killed two men so far. Well done, guys. Good job. <laughs> well, there go these slingers. Actually, after they did a little bit of damage, you can see, I think one of these units started on 70 men. Oh, man. <laughs> Very hard. It's just so brutal, guys, isn't it? It is so brutal. That is literally a slinger unit. But come on, let's uh, surround this Romfire Foroi now. And uh, see what we can do. Well, there it goes. Took a little bit of a push. But, uh, yeah, we've managed to get rid of them. So, time to bring all our men into the city. And we are going to do exactly what we normally do. Which is stand on the square while firing into the enemy to try and get them off the town square. Well, here we go, guys. Looks like we've managed to get the bodyguards off already. Which is a pretty good... Result for us. Oh, I forgot that they can fire uh, Javis, but we've got our Javis of our own, my friends. Doing no damage. Glorious. <laughs> we've got the Thracian Peltas, and we do have the Macedonian Hoplites up here as well. Kabile has just been a brutal, brutal little enemy to fight. Well, we have charged forward to attack the General's bodyguard. So, yeah, that is the main thing. Hopefully, we can get these Macedonian Hoplites off here as well. Maybe even kill the Romfai Foroi with some archers. Yeah, it looks like they're doing an alright job there. Ideally, we don't want you going on the town square, my friend. Oh, well, here come the Macedonian Hoplites. That is perfect for us because we are now just going to charge onto the square. And hopefully we can kill them all. I mean, Macedonian... Oh, my God! <laughs> Did you see that? That was brutal! <laughs> Oh, yes. That's what I love to see. <laughs> they just ran through them. <laughs> and then literally the Macedonian hoplites were just like, nah, we're out, guys. We're out. <laughs> we're not fighting anymore. <laughs> but a glorious victory, my friends. We did lose a lot of men. Ooh. Let's have a look at these slingers. How many Thracian slingers? They killed 11. Ah, it must have been the Peltasts firing the Javis into our hoplites. But anyway, 
A glorious little victory. Now Kabile is dead. Thank you. Thank you. And I think we'll enslave Kabile as well as usual. Uh, we'll put it down to low. Could be a place where we'd consider getting Thracian troops. But at the moment, <laughs> not so much. I think we need to go back for retraining. That is the main thing that we need to do right now. So um, let's see if they'll take 18 men. No, it's too few. Well, what about these mercenary Getic archers? Apparently that's plenty. So uh, yeah, let's uh, do that. Let's go back to Masambria that has actually some fresh troops waiting. And then we'll retrain those boys next turn. So on to Histria then. Now this one should be a lot easier. Don't expect there to be much challenge here. But he does have a uh, general with 39 men. It's pretty darn good overall. But in the end, we will win. Let's go. Well, there goes the gates. And honestly, I'm just going to charge through with this first group of hoplites. Because all they have there is Istrian archers. Now, we saw how bad our hoplites did against uh, <laughs> against some of the uh, some of the uh, slingers on very hard but surely they're going to be okay guys surely they'll be okay and they were okay in the end even though the archers were uh, firing point blank into their face they were <laughs> they were all right in the end <laughs> well here come the prodromoi and i think we're going to put an end to them right here stop your javelin throwing if you can get around this building guys watch out there's a wall there there goes the general's bodyguard he's been absolutely destroyed by the javelins of the prodromoi very nice that's what we like to see let's see if we can kill him come on boys nice and easy while we should be absolutely shredding this prodromoi guys push through push through i don't want none of this nonsense of walking into a wall anymore I want you to just kill these fools. There we go. Now we're all together. We should... Ah, oh, we should shred them. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Well, now it's just a grind fest on the town square. Look how many men we've got here. <laughs> oh, very nice indeed. Kill that last progemoy. The last one. Go on, men. <laughs> Look at that charge. <laughs> oh, glorious victory, my friends. And that is Istria dead. Very nice indeed. Well, I think Istrian on Limon doesn't have that much population, so uh, oh <laughs> I didn't mean to do I meant, I meant to press occupy. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> what can you say? What can you do? It was an oopsie, okay? It was an oopsie. <laughs> and uh, Nicaretos the playwright has uh, yeah, not the greatest trait, let's say. <laughs> well, I'm talking to the Asti because I want to give them Kabile. That should hopefully help our relationship with them anyway. I don't know what a, what a, a normal amount for a settlement is. What is the going rate for land in these parts? Well, 7,000 looks balanced, so... You do not fool us. Welcome, friend. Okay. Fool okay, us. we'll have to try them again or try someone else. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, that's a bit dumb. I don't really want Kabile. It's it's terrible. It's a terrible place. But anyway, uh, let's end the turn. <laughs> well, up here in the north, I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure we can beat that army in an offensive battle because they have so many archers and missile men. And they're not even bad archers. And they've got more cavalry than us, too. I'm wondering, are there mercenaries available here? There are. <gasps> Oh, yes. Well, we're going to use them, but we are going to uh, attack Olbia first. <laughs> we're going to attack Olbia first and see whether that works. The Greek city-states are neutral to us right now. If we can get an alliance with them, maybe. Maybe we can sell Kabile to them. Hmm. Well, apparently giving Kabile to the Greek city-states is very demanding. <laughs> so, um... I'm not sure they want it. <laughs> it must be that bad that they won't even take it for free. Look, here's a gift. No, they, do, they don't want it. They literally don't want it. Oh, dear. Look at our reputation, by the way. Not so good. So we've had two guys come of age. So what I'm going to do is use Chalcedonios as a cavalry commander. And then the other one, I've put him into Istria there to... Govern it. We now have a few more troops 
as well. As you can see, these are going to reinforce the armies in the north. So we're going to take them up north. And they're also going to be able to be, you know, garrison troops and everything as well. So we're going to send them all the way up there. And then down south, where is that second troop? I swear. There we go. So we now have this army. It's okay. It's not retrained yet, though. I forgot to do that last turn. I spent all my money on buildings. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> well, here goes nothing, guys. I think I'm going to attack Captain Limnaos to see whether he will uh, join in the fight. Looks like not. I do fully expect to be attacked here. I think with our horse archers, though, we might be okay. And as expected, guys, as expected... At least we will be defending. I mean, the they've got 1,300. We've got 780. That is the issue here. Oof. Ooh. It's a spicy meatball, my friends. It is a spicy meatball. If anything... Wait, let's have a look. Did that army that we pushed away have a general? I, can't, I think that's a general rather than a captain. So we can kill both generals, but um, let's defend and uh, just hope, hope and pray that we're going to be okay. Let's go. Well, any hope of a hill has quickly been eroded. <laughs> Look how flat it is. It makes sense that it's this flat, but um, yeah, a hill would have been nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, it is glorious to have horse archers, my friends. Absolutely Glorious. We're going to try and target their general's bodyguard, especially the one with 37 men. Don't think it's going to do that much damage, though. Honestly, overall, it's probably worth trying to take out the Prodromoy, honestly. Are you actually firing? Because you have done no damage so far, my friends. Okay, a little bit of damage. Okay, that's good. It's a good start. It's a good start. Well, I was so engrossed in moving the uh, horse archers around that um, I didn't actually notice this. And it looks like they are going to go for the skirmish tactic. So we are just going to run through them. I'm going to still use the horse archers to try and take out the enemy. And we'll use our progemoy over this side to ward off their progemoy. So uh, let's go. Let's push them back. We did take a bit of damage in that, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to go now. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Kill the Uzonoi. You guys keep coming forward and see whether you can kill that you, Zonoi. We're going to try and get our Prodromoi in the action too. And uh, bring our horse archers around this way. Look how many uh, sort of um, of those troops they have. Missile troops. That was a quite a good charge from the general's bodyguard there. He did lose a few men though. So not actually the best charge. And this general's bodyguard is going to die. He is going to die, my friends. Yes! Come on! Kill him! Whoop, whoop. Let's go! Come on, boys. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, we are running rampant through their sort of uh, missile troops here. And I'm going to try and kill as many as I can. And then I'm going to charge the Greek general's bodyguard over here. They still do have those progeny. I'm also going to tell these guys to stop firing for now. No need to do that. And these guys are just there to try and take out as many men as possible. Ideally, I wouldn't like you to fire if you can. And then we've got another army to deal with, my friends. Let's see this charge, though. Here we go. Breaking. Breaking these fools. There we go. Another general that we can kill. Very nice. And we've got this u these units here surrounded. Woohoo! This is getting good, my friends. This is getting good. Very nice indeed. Well, horse archer time once again, guys. Once again. Let's go. I'm also going to use these guys to chase down... The routing uh, sort of um, hoplites and all that sort of thing. These guys are now uh, pretty much wavering. Okay, there they go. They are broken. So I do want to kill this Prodromoy, but um, yeah, they're getting quite annoying to deal with, honestly. Oh dear, what's going on here? What is going on? We're getting shredded by missiles. Looks like their mixed Hellenic archers are actually pretty darn good. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll worry about that. Well, the second army is very much going to rely on its archers. So we are going to come and deal with those guys as well. Some of the Prodromoi have ran away, but uh, yeah, it's they're just a constant annoyance, honestly. I do think we have got our worth out of these horse archers. They've done very good. Um, even if we've lost most of them now, <laughs> I think they were worth it in the end. 
Well, we are shoving the archers backwards now, and they are going to go through a world of hurt. After all the hurt they have done to my horse archers, cannot let them get away with it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to absolutely shred them here. Let's go. We should absolutely destroy them here. We've charged their general's bodyguard. The one thing I hope is that they had a general in that other army, because if not, and we kill this general, they die, and it gets filled with rebels. So, uh, yeah, it's not ideal if that happens, but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll find out, guys, won't we? We'll find out. Well, that is their general, so, uh, yeah, risk taken, my friends, risk taken. Whether it pays off or not is a different question. <laughs> Surely these th these uh, Projimoy are going to run. Surely. Just run away from the battle, guys. Run away. <laughs> you fools. You fools. Well, a glorious victory, my friends. Very nice indeed. Let us end the battle there. Oh, my days. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was a really really good battle. I do think those horse archers, you know, paid for themselves. Fair play. Glorious, glorious battle, my friends. Let's go and fingers crossed that the city is not a rebel city now. Let's go. Oh, no. No. <laughs> uh, no. So dumb, bro. Why? I could have sworn there was a general in that other army. Oh, dear, dear me. What do they have in here? Not much, anyway. Let's just auto-resolve that. I mean, we lost, like, nearly more men in that siege battle there. <laughs> well, apparently, oh, yeah, there's this, there's this guy. It's not going to happen. Oh, wait, it did. He is the, he is the man of the hour. Well done, Nicaretos. Well done. Um, strange. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Fair play. Well done. You, you did a good job. <laughs> well, I think, honestly, I didn't think we'd say this very quickly, but money is a little bit of an issue now. When I say issue, we're still doing very well, uh, money-wise. And we do need to take out those angry Thracians. But I wouldn't, I, I don't really want to fight them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get these, these guys off the ships. Can you get off there? Apparently the only place they can get off is like, like there, there. Oh, come on. Oh, we better not get killed now. That would be so annoying. I'm not going to merge them because we know what happened in the RDAI campaign. Well, it looks like the Thracians are going to come after us anyway and all of it is thracian peltasts <laughs> well here they come i don't know what they're doing they seem they they want to flank but uh yeah we've got our meat shield here to kind of take some of the uh the thracian peltast attacks but yeah i don't know how well that's gonna work uh yeah not amazingly well by the looks of it but actually maybe quite good because they are okay they are firing at this unit here they want us to spread out, and I don't really like that. But uh, what is this unit? That is a Light Lancer. We can actually take the Light Lancer out if we want to. So, um, yeah, let's have a go at that. Well, straight into the Light Lancers we have gone. And, uh, yeah, we are now fighting the Oromfire Furoy over here, which is never fun. And there go the Light Lancers, absolutely uh, running away. I'm going to charge these Peltas, try and stop them from... Uh, from turning away from our men. Try to hound them in towards them. There we go. Let's get them now. And let's see if we can uh, surround these boys. Get rid of them as well. But here comes a uh, general. Not ideal. At least that's the Akontistai breaking and no one else. Okay, these guys over here. Doing a decent-ish job. Honestly. Oh, but there go the Peltasts. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Okay, we're doing quite a good job against the uh, Romfire Foro. We've actually broken those Peltasts. Okay, no, here comes the general, 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 general. Turn, turn, men. Okay, good thing is they didn't manage to get much of a uh, charge off. So uh, let's get our men into the fight now. They are going to be a little bit tired. Actually, they're still okay. That's kind of uh, 
It's kind of confusing. They've done a lot of running, but um, yeah, it's, it's fine. The unfortunate thing is loads of these guys, we haven't managed to kill them all off. We need desperately need some progemoy in this army, honestly. Desperately need some progemoy. Well, here we go. Now our guys are into the fight with them. We're also fighting the noble cavalry, but there goes our general. One of our generals has died, literally just as he's come of age. Well, I guess he's not the greatest of generals, that can be said. <laughs> oh, wow. And now all we have left is just the stragglers. Just the stragglers. Just the stragglers. Well, a nice little victory. Unfortunately, I feel like this army is going to go into the town now. Which is not ideal, is it? Well, there we go. There's still 250 men remaining, though. That's pretty darn unfortunate. So, yeah. Oh, well. We're still going to take the town, so let's go. Well, with a heroic death comes another opportunity, my friends. <laughs> a candidate for adoption. We are going to accept them. And we'll probably put them in this settlement once we've taken it. But as you can see, they've got so many men here now. <sighs> That's just going to be an annoying siege, isn't it, guys? <laughs> well, the plan now, guys, is to attack Chersonesos from here. This settlement is actually a Greek settlement, so it might be worth taking as well. But once we've taken them, we'll probably dip back for retraining and maybe come up down here and just make a nice unbroken line all the way up to this way because we need to be strong enough once we've taken out Chersonesos to take on the Bosporans. And I mean, the Bosporans is going to be rich land. I don't know whether we're going to be strong enough, though. Let's have a look at the corruption here. 581, so it's about 25% up here. So, yeah, yeah, it's about 25% up here. It's about a quarter. So, the Bosporans is going to be even more. So, it's not even going to be that rich land for us, even though it is rich land, if that makes sense. That is going to be one of the hardest things about this campaign. But first things first, let's actually go for that cheeky little uh, dive bomb. On Chersonesos. And how far can we go? Okay, we can, act can actually only go to here. And hello, Chersonesos. Welcome to the party, my friends. Welcome to the party. Is that a... That's just a single ship. Single ship! Reveal yourself. Gone. Gone, 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 gone. Very nice indeed, my friends. Oh, and we got a, we got a guy... F uh, we got a, something for the Admiral. Cool. Well, let's have a go at Chersonesos. Bloody hell. Come on, Asti. I thought you were going to be our friends for life, man. Friends for life! Well, these are the sorts of shenanigans that I thought would make this really interesting. It's the decision whether to go inland or whether to just chill out here on the coast and maybe just beat back armies that come after us. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I don't really know. They've got two Thurioforoi in there, bro. Well, now we've got access to our elite infantry, the Thurioforoi. Yeah, <laughs> our roster's not so good, is it? Well, I decided to auto-resolve the uh, the Thracian boyos because um, this army's really close to being able to like to being able to retrain. It's just in our homelands. So uh, yeah, that is the Thracians off our back for now. So, yeah, let's go. See if we can uh, keep them happy with a singular Thracian Peltas. <laughs> Apparently not. So maybe we will need some backup. Only 55%. Well, I'm sure that's going to go down. But for now, let's go back to Sambria with most of these guys, I think, is the best option. No, it's actually here. Let's go to Odessos and retrain these guys. Because the Asti... It's going to take them forever to siege this down. They've only got two units, and it's likely they're both cavalry for some reason. <laughs> However, let's actually get into Chersonesos and take this land. Let's go. Well, here we go. The Thurio Foroy has decided that it's going to uh, not defend the gate and defend the wall instead. That's fine by me. We've got plenty of men ready to rush in. We should be able to kill them. Problem is, I'm very hard. These guys are going to be so OP to fight against our Greek hoplites. They're just going to be better in every way. So the only way we can really defeat them is by fully, like, surrounding them. 
So, yeah, that's not going to be exactly the most fun thing in the world to try and do, but uh, we're going to try it nonetheless. Well, they, they actually broke surprisingly fast. Hmm. That is interesting, but uh, anyway, that's fine. I'm going to come around this way with these guys. And I'm also going to send the archers around this way as well. Ah, oh, well, I accidentally selected the Prodromoy when coming up close to this. Oh, for God's sake, the archers have gone the wrong way as well. What a disaster. But anyway, it's fine. We've managed to drag at least the General's bodyguard into uh, our guys. So, uh, yeah, that's one good thing, I would say. <laughs> one good thing. One little good thing. There we go. Here comes the Thurio Foroy. They're getting a bit cheeky. They're getting a bit confident. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. See if we can... Um, Shred them. They're getting some good javies off, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, no. It's fine. Well, the Thurio Foroi are currently off the town square. So, let's get into them, guys. Let's try and push them back. Their general has uh, has died. So, all we need to do is make them break. These guys should still be firing into the side of them as well. And hopefully, that shouldn't be too hard. Well, there we go. It wasn't too hard to make them break. Glorious little victory. We only lost 56 men. Nice. Chersonesos, we're coming for you, bro. We're coming for you. And Kalos, Lehman, let's... Um, I am honestly thinking about occupying some of these because they are Greek. Apparently, it's making one. <laughs> one. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I thought this might happen, but... Holy moly, that's a lot of missile troops again. But luckily, this time we have plenty of light cavalry to take care of them. Unfortunately, they have a lot of light cavalry as well. And once again, we are defending. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be completely flat though, isn't it? <laughs> let's, be, <laughs> let's be truthful here. And let's get on to this map. Well, here goes nothing. That is one hell of a horde, my friends. That is one hell of a horde. Luckily, they don't have that much in the background ready to fight us. But yeah, the Akontistai is going to be an interesting one. What we're going to have to do is what we did last time, which is just charge straight through them and try and catch them. So here we go. Here goes nothing, guys. Here goes nothing. Nobody tells me nothing. What I want you to do is shoot that Progemoy there. What I'm also going to do is bring this cavalry around and try and defend my flanks with our tiny little weak guys here. We are getting shredded by something. I'm assuming it's all of these slingers. There's about a million bloody slingers in the back. Here we go. Try and attack those hoplites, will you? Go on, boys. If we can kill the Akontistai, though, that would be good. Why are we getting so stuck? Getting very stuck by something. Looks like the Akontistai are deaded in the middle there. Come on, boys. Why are you so slow? What's going on? Is this long grass or something? I think it might be. I think that is the reason. Well, it's just chaos for the poor guys in the back. They are just getting absolutely ruined here. <laughs> absolutely ruined. But it's going to take a few jabbies from these Progemoi. Uh, but luckily, we have our own archers firing at the Progemoi. And there goes the general. I don't know how we killed him there. Oh, he came back. Is that a different general? Well, I guess we killed him. <laughs> oh, here comes Progemoy. Turn, men. Turn. And let's uh, let's attack them ourselves. Uh, but yeah, we've absolutely devastated the back lines here. But as usual, they're still going to come back, even with 20 men. Just to annoy me. Just to annoy me. That's, that's what they love to do. Hopefully, we can get our general's bodyguard in there to kill this Progemoy. Because goddammit. I don't want to lose this battle due to goddamn Progemoy, I've got to say. Problem we've got now is that this second army is very, very close. We still have not taken down enough Progemoy. Luckily, these archers are quite good at taking them down. Not many of them are firing, though. I guess we're a bit too close to the front of those uh, those hoplites. So, uh, yeah, just, just come back a little bit, guys. Just come back a little bit. Whilst we uh, chase down the rest of these uh, missile men. Well, I think it's time to actually go for it. Let's charge some of these hoplites. See what they are actually made of. It is a Greek general's bodyguard, remember, that is going to be charging them. With Progemoy, not the greatest unit to charge with. But they may not turn around. 
There we go. Broken them. Straight onto these guys. Now they're shaken. Yeah, this is it. This is it, guys. This is it. Okay, well, there goes the... There comes the general. Get out, 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 men. Get out. Not the man we want to be fighting right now with our Prochimoy. <sighs> well, let's uh, see if we can uh, take out this Prochimoy. Doesn't look like it. Okay, no, no, no. They are coming to fight. They are coming to fight. Hmm. Hmm. Not the greatest maneuvering there, I've got to say. <laughs> Once again, the Projimoy, the Projimoy charge is chilling. Chilling to the bone, my friends. Chilling to the bone. But, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not sure they, uh, they really were prepared for the power. The power we are going to show them. Oof, oof, oof. Who is that getting shredded? Are you firing javelins, you naughty boys? You're not allowed to do that, you know? It's not allowed, okay? It's, it's just not allowed. Well, they are, for some reason, still steady, even though their general has died. So let's rally the men and uh, give them what for, shall we? Shaken already. I don't think these guys have the greatest morale. Stop firing your goddamn javelins. It's not fair. <laughs> it is just not fair. It's not allowed, okay? It's not allowed. If I can't do it, you can't do it either. Come on. Well, there goes one of them after one more of our glorious little charges. So this guy just needs to break now, which is going to be fantastic. And our uh, these two little units actually chase down the enemy general. Oh, glorious. What a fight, my friends. Absolutely glorious. Very good indeed. Well, what a battle that was, my friends. I mean, the stats look pretty ridiculous, but it was not as easy as that, I'll say. It, it definitely felt pretty difficult. So really fun. Really fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Look at that. 293 for the glorious Pro Drew Moi. Very good. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go. You are joking. You're joking. Not again. How? How? How did they not have a general in the other settlement? Oh, that is so Damn annoying! Let us now talk reasonably. Um, yeah, that's fine, Thracians. Oh, whatever. I, I've also noticed that we can't ask for an alliance with some people, but probably because our reputation is so very, very low. <laughs> Why? Now they just get filled with fresh units. I mean, that's actually not that. Di that's like not difficult to fight. I mean, what is that? What's that? Tarantines? Yeah. Where's our spy? Let's come and have a look at this one. We also lost... We we, we left the siege. We left the siege, guys. We literally ran away. Oh, my God. Mother of God. What is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How much money do we have? Oh, yes. We can literally kill anything with those four units, guys. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Oh, the power of the horse archer is mine! Yes! Come on! Well, for some reason, the Asti think that they can beat my two generals that I just removed from a nearby city. And this guy. Um, I don't know why you think you can beat that, guys. <laughs> why? <laughs> Come on. And, like, the, the Thracian Light Lancers think that they can take us. <laughs> I mean, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy, my friends. Yeah, you, yeah. Didn't work out too well for you, did it? I mean, half of the unit in a charge. I've got to say that's pretty good going. We've just got to do it, kill them all before these guys show up, which looks like we're not going to be able to, but there's really anyone left, is there? Goodbye. <laughs> that's just so dumb. This is why I said, why do they think that they can beat us? Like, so stupid. Well, now it's just a question of the baiting. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can uh, just turn around exactly at the right moments. There we go. There we go. I don't mind losing one general here if it comes down to it. Uh, yeah. Do yeah. you see why you shouldn't have said that you can win that, guys? Yeah. Well done, Asti. 
Clever moves. Clever moves. <laughs> well, after like two or three turns messing around and, and maybe making some impulse purchases, uh, I think it's time to retrain this army. <laughs> it cost us some cash, but it's okay. We can now get three or four as well. I, I'll pop one of those boys in there. I've got an extra progemoy. Let's get another one. That is for this army because we need that light cavalry if we are to fight in Greece. Well, let's go for the next Chersonesian territory anyway, guys. I'll probably edit this one out. Be nice and quick with it. Don't think it's going to prove too much of an issue. Just mainly destroying the Greek hoplites. Well, there we go. Nice and easy in the end. We lost a couple of horse archers and a few hoplites, but not... Too many, so uh, a good little victory nonetheless. I think the same again. Let's just occupy. I did lose a few uh, archers in that battle, though. That's the only uh, bad thing, but it looks like they are plenty happy enough. Let's go have a look back at Chersonesos. The reason why I want to take these settlements, guys, is just because they're quite rich. They're decent settlements. I know it says mine is... One, two, two. But if we get rid of the upkeep, plus 600. I mean, it's not amazing, <laughs> but it's nothing really to uh, sniff at either. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep on going along. I also do want to train from here at some point because this is an area where we can actually get Greek units uh, up here and then obviously get our factional units as well, which are basically just the, the basic Greek roster. <laughs> <laughs> when all is said and done. So, uh, yeah, let's make sure we are building. They didn't even have land clearance there. Wow, 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 wow. Well, Chersonesos itself, I did just auto-resolve uh, because I didn't think there was much point in taking that one because it was pretty much nothing really there. Now, can they survive on seven people? They actually can. <laughs> oh, that is quite funny. How far can we go? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. We can go all the way up there. I'm just worried about rebel art, rebel navies. Rebel navies. Hmm. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay, guys. We'll not be great. We'll just be okay. <laughs> and what did I say, guys? Our ships actually did get attacked, um, but we did win. Just about. <laughs> Ooh, well, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> hmm. Well, where can we train everyone in this army? Down here. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's retrain the boys. Fantastic. And a glorious, glorious little end turn there. We now have this army that is ready to go. As well, they were going to get joined by this one too. Wait, where's the other one? I just could have sworn I sent one down here. Am I being dumb? I must be being dumb. Hmm. I've moved a couple of troops around, but overall, not too much. We're going to marriage these guys. Constructions. Construction is still going on, guys. Just not that much, actually, because of our rather large armies. Hmm. So, let us get a move on. We are going to come down towards Byzantium and this rebel settlement. We will probably have to take out the Asti, though, first. So, we will take out the Asti, and then we'll go down south. But overall, guys, I think we're in a pretty darn decent position. Apparently, these guys can only trade with each other and not up to here. And these guys similarly... Can, okay, this guy can trade. Oh, it's with the Greek city-states, though. Imagine how rich we'll be when we own this whole coast. Well, guys, I think that's been a pretty successful episode. How many uh, are we on? We are on 18 regions out of about 70. So a couple of a couple of episodes, we have got to about nearly a third. Nearly a third. So i say that's relatively decent, probably about a quarter. I'd say that's pretty good. Pretty good. Next episode, we are definitely going to be attacking the Bosporans. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys, because that will be very fun indeed. And with our other army, we're going to be cleaning up 
down on this corner of Thrace here. And then we'll have to make the decision. Are we going to come across onto the uh, Anatolian area? Because that could put us in a world of hurt, you know. Bordering the Seleucids, Pontus, all that sort of thing. Uh, the Galatians. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think that is something for later. We might just send this army to start clearing up these rebel territories. But anyway, let's see when we get there, guys. So make sure you do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Once again, big thank you to David D and Pascal as the channel members. If you want to join the channel, you can check down below in the description. But thank you once again, guys. And I will see you all again on the next glorious video.